All right, when my pot is ready to go, the first thing I need to do is get the bowl out of it. So I'm gonna pull the saran wrap back, being very careful because the longer this starts to dry, the more brittle the clay becomes. And then really carefully, I'm gonna work that out. If it's possible to get the saran wrap off, please do that. If it's stuck in there, that's okay. We'll just leave it in there and it will burn off in the kiln. But ideally, we wanna be able to get that out. Little by little. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is we need to kind of fix the edges up here. So what I'm going to do is dip my finger in some water, have my hand on the side to support it, and just go through and smooth those out. If there are little extra chunks of clay like that, just remove those. I'm just going to continue all the way around and once it's done I will leave it out to dry and once it's fully dry we'll cook it in the kiln it's it over 2,000 degrees after it has been bisque fired then we can paint it or glaze it If you'd like to use it for a plant, um, I would suggest putting a couple holes in the bottom, um, maybe like three or four big ones. You do have to keep in mind though, that if you have other openings like the mouth, you're going to have a hard time keeping soil in there. Um, if you do have those openings and still wanna try to make it for a plant, a good option is to either put moss right there and then fill the rest with dirt or you can just take a coffee filter and put the coffee filter in and then put the dirt right up against it and the filter will allow water to come out but it won't allow the soil to come out 